Hello everybody, it's Italy back again with another video. Yeah guys, you probably have heard right now all the tennis fans around the world. Rafael Nadal is withdrawing from French Open in 2023. Uh, it is the first time in 18 years that Rafael Nadal is not at least not playing the French Open in the beginning. We all remember that in 2016 edition, he played two matches and then withdraw in the third round. But this is the first time where he is not playing in the French Open from the beginning. So, to be quite honest, I did a video one week ago, something like that, and I, I believe that Nadal will play French Open. I was not sure, of course, but I had a feeling he will play because I was seeing him practicing on clay, and I was thinking to myself, if this dude is not, is if he is not have the attention to play the French Open, why is why is he still playing? Uh, why is he still practicing on clay? So. Um, I knew that he has troubles, of course, he has not been playing any tennis, competitive tennis since uh, Australian Open uh, back in January, so he has been uh, out of the competition from four f for four months, so, uh, but this is not coming as any big surprise, of course. Uh, personally, I'm a little surprised, little, not much, not much, because obviously I believed he will play the French Open, but I'm not, I'm not, so, so, huge surprised, of course not. I'm not huge surprised, obviously. Uh, so he's not playing the French Open, and to be quite honest, my tennis friends all around the world, considering how how beat up Nadal's body is, considering how many injuries Nadal, how many injuries Nadal has had over the years, this is a miracle that he is that he has played 18 straight French Opens. From 2005 to 2022, he has played 18 straight French Opens, despite the 2016 edition where he pulled off, where he, where he injured himself. Uh, I, I believe he injured his hand, if not mistaken, uh, seven years ago uh, in 2016 French Open edition, where no Novak Djokovic that year won his first ever French Open title. Uh, so, he has played the French Open in 18 straight years. He has had injuries before French Open and missed Rome, missed Monte Carlo, missed Madrid, Barcelona. Uh, but he has not missed French Open since 2004. That was and he, the first ever time he played French Open was in, 20, in 2005. We all remember when he won it, when he won uh, his first ever Fran uh, French Open and his first ever Grand Slam title. And after that, the rest is history, like we all know. So he has, he has been actually pretty lucky to be playing French Open this many years, uh, considering how beat up his body is and considering how many injuries he has had because he has missed US Open, he has missed Wimbledon, he has missed Austral Open. If we, if, if we talk about Grand Slams now, the Grand Slam tournament he has missed few, the, the few times uh, the Grand Slam tournament he has, he has played the most times in his career, it is for sure French Open. So he should be really happy about that, uh, Rafael Nadal. So he really should be, and all, Nadal, and all Nadal, Nadal fans, he has played 18 straight French Opens. 18 straight French Opens. And now he's missing the French Open for the first time since 2004. For the first time in 19 years. So, Nadal is, he is dancing his last dance, let's be honest here, he is in his last, his days are counted, he is like a boxer when the, bu when the, when the, when a boxer gets knocked out and the, the referee is counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Nadal is on that nine number. He's still, the referee has not, has still not said 10, but he is almost knocked out. And it, Nadal's career will end like it, like it did for Federer. His body will eventually give up. He said that in the press conference yesterday, he said that I will not play tennis for many months to come. He probably will skip off 
skip the entire 2023 season. He said that I maybe will come back in the Davis Cup, but that is a maybe. But most likely Nadal will come back in 2024. And he also said that probably the 2024 season will be my last one. His body, it is his body is giving up. Exactly like exactly like it happened for Federer. Federer didn't. Federer still had a level when he when he retired. He for God's sake, he played the quarterfinal in Wimbledon in 2021, and he was most likely not 100 percent healthy. He played the quarter a quarterfinal. Federer's last appearance in a professional level. Labor Cup, we are not counting. Professional level, which was Wimbledon 2021, he played a quarterfinal. All right? His, his last appearance as, I believe he was, back then, I believe he was 40 years old, something like that, if I'm, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, in 2021. 39. He almost, he was, almost was 40 years old because Feather is born in 1981. Uh, and born in August. Uh, so he was 39 years old, Federer, when he played his last competitive tennis match uh, against H Hurbi Hurkacz. And, for, and he got bageled in the last set. He lost that match in four sets, I remember. Anyway, Federer never came back after that in a competitive tennis match. Why? Because he, his body didn't allow him. Didn't allow him. The same thing will happen to Nadal. Who knows? Maybe Nadal has played his last ever professional tennis match. He said he will come back in 2024 and most likely will be his last season in his career. But who knows if he, if he ever comes back because he has, his body has got a lot of beat. He's got, he's, he's like a boxer. When, you know, when a boxer has a long career, the boxer has pain everybody, everywhere in his body. The same thing is with Nadal. Nadal has, a, has had a, a remarkable career considering how demanding and how physical his tennis, his tennis style is and to be able to play tennis he will be 37 years old next month to be able to play tennis this long he has had a remarkable te tennis career with 22 grand slam titles uh, that is a record together with Djokovic who also, who also has a tw 22 grand slam title so he of course knows and is realizing that he is on his last dance and I had a feeling, I talked with a friend of mine uh, who also loves tennis here in Sweden. I said to him that Nadal, I think Nadal will retire in 2024 when he plays the Olympic Games. Because we all know the Olympic Games will be, will, will be played in Paris on clay. That will be his last season. I actually said to a friend of mine a couple of weeks ago, I think Rafa Nadal's 20, 2024 will be his last season. I will be surprised if Nadal plays tennis in 2025. I will be surprised. That is my feeling. So... This is, of course, a, te a huge tennis lover that I am, even though I'm not a Rafa Nadal fan. I, of course, I'm not happy about this. We all always want to see the greatest clay court player of all time play the biggest clay court event in the world, which is, of course, French Open is the biggest clay court event. But we are not surprised. N n any of us are surprised. Nadal, he has pain ev almost everywhere in, the, in his body. And as older you get, as slower you recover. You nobody can defeat time. No, to, time is uh, time is undefeated. Nobody. And the, the injuries will come for Djokovic as well. Djokovic is only one year, year younger, and you can see in Djokovic also he has also started to get some injuries. Not he, not huge ones, but he has he has pain in his shoulders. He has pain in his uh, arm. They are start, starting to come. Why? Because Djokovic will be 20, 36, years, 36, years, 36 years old on Monday. Nobody can defeat time. Nobody. Time is an undefeated thing. And Nadal, of course, either he cannot defeat time. So, I was right about Nadal. Nadal will not, never win 25 Grand Slam titles. I was right because I did a video a couple of years ago where I said, will Djokovic Oh, and Nadal win 25 Grand Slam titles. I said that neither of them will do it. I was right about Nadal. Nadal will not win 25 Grand Slam titles. We are all we all we all can agree about that. Uh, his body is shutting down. His body is giving up. I'm not sure about Djokovic either if he will win 25 Grand Slam titles. But I'm not convinced about him. I'm not. I'm 50-50 about Djokovic. He has still a slow Open. He has still Wimbledon. But in the slow conditions, as U.S. Open and French Open, Djokovic will have nightmares to win. I don't care that Nadal will not play French Open. Djokovic is not a huge favorite at, at French Open. The fa he is one of the favorites together with Alcaraz and Rune. He is for sure one of the favorites. But he will have 
a Mount Everest mountain to climb, Novak Djokovic to win French Open uh, later this month. Mount Everest mountain to climb. All right, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give them a thumbs up, subscribe. See you next time. Peace.